Hi traders, this is Chris from Elite Currency with the details about a live trade setup on the Euro Yen. We're going to take a look at the angles, the nuts and bolts of this setup. All right, be aware though that trading for exchange and uh, global financial markets, trading them is considered high risk and may not be suitable for all traders and investors. Therefore, please seek the advice of an independent financial advisor for more information on that. This video is for educational and informational purposes only, and by continuing watching this video, you agree with this disclaimer. You can pause the video to read the entire disclaimer or go to the link at the bottom, or of course, send us an email and we can send that disclaimer. All right, so let's take a look at the Euro Yen one hour chart. Basically, uh, this is a downtrend. I have a few indicators here that uh, I would like to explain. Now, the triangles or fractals, those are just support and resistance levels made easy to uh, see it quite, quite quickly, in fact. Then I got five lines. Those are moving averages. There are 21 EMA close high and low and a 144 EMA basically for the long term. All right. And a, uh, a second one right above it. Now, these EMAs help me with defining the trend. So when I look at this chart, I see a downtrend because the short term moving averages are below the long term. That's pretty simple, I think, but still want to make sure that that's clear. Now, when I was looking at this chart in a live webinar with uh, at least uh, a dozen or so people, perhaps more, that were looking with me, and it was at this green arrow, the spot of this green arrow, as you can see. So price was contained between these green lines, which is a contracting triangle. So at that moment, I identified this as a potential trade that I found interesting for that day. All right. Now, what were the things that I found interesting? Now, first of all, obviously, uh, as I said, the EMAs were aligned to the downside. There was also plenty of downtrend before that. And due to the gap, there was certainly some momentum as well uh, to the downside. And those are always good things to have. The gap between the 21 EMA and the 144 was sizable because if you look at the difference here, you know, that was a good gap. Always interested when the gap increases, that means momentum is going in that direction. All right. And there is a good flow. Also, the 21 EMA band, because the colors of these EMAs change depending on the angle, orange is down, purple is down and green is up. All right. The angle of the 21 band was down and bearish. All right. So that's important for me too. another factor when looking at this overall environment. So what did I do then? Well, the downtrend was in place. So I zoomed into the 15 minute chart. All right. And I saw the triangle a bit better, obviously very neatly right here. When I looked at this 15 minute chart, I saw actually that the moving averages here were apart from each other. There was a gap between them, they were aligned, and here too, the moving averages were orange. Same thing as the hourly, but the pound yen didn't have that, for instance. So that's why I like the euro yen a bit more during the 7th of July in the London session. Now, I also talked about actually uh, the odd USD and pound USD breaks to the downside and breakouts during the live webinar at Admiral Markets. All right, uh, but I took this one personally. So, the gap there made it preferably, you know, more preferred than the pound yen. What else was I was looking for? Well, the trend was in play, but I was looking for the trigger, the moment to enter. And of course, the break of the trend line was an important factor, plus these bottoms right in here. So I was looking for a candle that could push through that. And that was this candle right here. That's the trigger that made me take the trade. For me, a candle close was very important that it was not too far off the low because that would otherwise, if it's a big wick, indicate the potential for a bit of a pullback before continuing. Now, that didn't happen. We had a close that was near the low. The gap here between the close and the low was small. So I took the trade right here, all right, and entered at the market uh, with a breakout trade, put the stop loss above the moving averages on these candles. Sometimes I go above the fractal as well. And was aiming for 134.30. And I'll show you here the blue sign. All right, right there. Cool. Now, what else? Would I, why did I go for that target? Well, there were Fibonacci levels. Uh, that was the reason. But I also use a tool based on Forex Quant. And that is a cool thing. It's a very easy script. It's actually called Forex Wiz. All right. And I just click on sell because I'm looking for shorts. All right, and I get these lines. Now these lines are cool because they indicate the potential targets, in this case, to the downside. Especially when you get below the third and the fourth level here, 
you're looking at massive continuation potentials because of the space here. All right, the spaces get bigger. And that's what happened. Price went into this space and filled up those, those wide open spaces with a lot of momentum. So, you know, that was good. I, I liked the uh, potential. You can see the target was aiming for just, uh, in this case, a bit above, in fact, uh, the, this line right in here. Now, eventually, of course, it actually continued and went a lot further than that, perhaps. But that was the main reason here, as you can see, just above that line, taking advantage of these two spaces. So that's great to get an idea about the potential of, of a currency by using this tool. Now, the exit, eventually, as you can see, I exited right here. That's because on a five-minute chart, I saw that there was a chance that there could be uh, a bit of a, uh, a bounce, which indeed happened, as you can see. This bounce, that was something that I wanted to avoid. So I just took the profit right here at this doji and took the profit there for plus 63 pips. All right, pretty good. Happy with that result. Now, eventually, right, price after the retracement, right did go down to the target and made it right up to that line here just as it made it up to here as well now personally uh, i didn't mind sacrificing a few pips to to get rid of the you know insecurity that always uh, you know goes along with a pullback like that and i i saw according to my methods that there, there was a chance of a pullback here and uh, took the doji and exited right there now another thing that helped me with this uh, trade or actually I didn't use this tool when trading, but in retrospect, I saw that it gave me an excellent uh, figure. It's always difficult to combine, of course, a, a live webinar and trading at the same time, but it's something that was, you know, showed how the potential was of this trade. And that, that is Forex Quant, the form itself. It's basically a, a tool where you just fill in the details of the trade, you add some, some figures. It's not too difficult, the support resistance, the price action, the ATR, and you hit the calculate button, basically, and it gives a clear cut percentage. Now, the cool thing about it is that, of course, a strategy, you got to wait, wait, wait for the right setup to come. And with this form, you can use it for any time, any spot, anywhere, everywhere, and you'll get a percentage. And it gives you a, a comparison with your average, you know, what if, it, if the setup is really worthwhile or not. Let's say your average with quant is 40. And this setup is 60. Well, that's relatively good. So you can conclude that probably there's a better chance. But if it's not 40, but 20, well, then you know that setup has less probability. So 75, almost 76% uh, is, a, is a good figure there for, for me. Uh, I typically have a bit lower. So in retrospect, I understand that this was a good setup. Now, I didn't have time at the trade itself, but you know this is something that when you have a bit more time and not multitasking too much, that is very useful together with the target, the whiz target, the whiz tool, very useful combination of uh, estimating the setups and, and targets. All right, thanks for joining, folks. If you're interested in the moving average indicator, just send an email to info at elitecurrency.com and we'll send that for free. And if you're also interested in the ebook on Fibonacci or Camarilla or trading psychology, same thing, send the email to info at elitecurrency.com. Or if you're interested in quant, of course, send the email to and we'll give you instructions about how to access that or buy it. Thanks so much and see y'all soon. Good trading. Cheers.